Hey you guys, welcome back. I hope you are doing well and are ready for some yoga, of course. So, I figured I would get up nice and close and show you my face because I feel like I haven't seen you guys in forever. I miss you. I truly hope you are doing well and are ready for tonight's class. So, let's get back to our mats. Get yourselves nice and comfortable. Come on down to the floor. You know the drill. It looks like Finn must have been hanging out on my mat because holy cow, you guys. If you could only see how much dog hair is on this mat. Oh boy. It's always something, right? It's always something. So, hopefully you guys have your water close by and uh, can take a sip real quick. If you are here joining me, please, please, please give me a comment, give me a heart, give me a something so I know you are actually here because Facebook doesn't really show us who is live anymore. So if you are joining me, give me a heart, give me a thumbs up, say, hey, I'm here, I'm so excited, anything to let me know that you're actually here and I'm not alone talking to myself. Yeah. All right, you guys. I hope you are doing well and are ready to do some yoga. So come on down your mat. Actually, we're going to come into a kneeling position to start today. So meet me there. Go ahead and start your watches. And uh, let's get right into it. I want you to go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Loop your shoulders around your spine, really pressing your chest forward. Take your chin, press it towards that back wall with your right hand. And just feel your neck lengthening here. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale. One more, just like that. In. And out. And we're going to jump right in child's pose, you guys. I know you're like working your butts off, so we're going to chill at the beginning of this. So open your knees as wide as your mat. Make sure your big toes are touching behind you. Make sure we're not arching in our back here. Have a nice flat back and begin to just move from your hips, not your waist. And just start to walk your hands forward. Release those forearms down. Don't rush your body, just kind of listen to it. And when you're ready, begin to lower your head towards the mat. You can play around with opening your arms wider on the mat. Close your eyes. And we're just gonna take several moments to focus inward, to focus on that breath, calming us from our entire day and really showing up for ourselves, making ourselves the priority for this session, for this moment, for this just present time. Showing up for you so you can recover, you can aid in your healing, you can aid in your workouts and your recovery. And just simply slowing down. So take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more, just like that. In. And out. Great job. Just let that breath come in and out through the nose. Feel your belly expanding, pressing into your thighs. And feel yourself pulling your belly button into your spine as you press that air out of your lungs. This is a time to just notice what's going on in your body physically, emotionally, mentally. Right? We go through our days, and whether it's from the stress of work, the stress of social media, this uncertainty in the time that we're living in, we have all of these things that are bombarding us without our will. And all we can do is acknowledge what's going on let it pass by and find your own sense of ease right here in this moment just focusing on that breath big inhale 
and exhale. And one more really big inhale. And exhale, let it go. Great job. With that next inhale, begin to walk your upper body all the way up, using your hands to press you up. And we're going to come into our tabletop position, bringing your knees right underneath of your hips, your wrists right under your shoulders. Spread your fingertips wide and feel your hands pressing into the mat. Keep the tops of your feet flat on the floor. Begin feeling the pressure of your feet connecting to the floor here. Nice flat back. Take a big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Great job. Inhale, we're going to drop our belly down, lift our hips, look forward. Exhale, round, pulling your belly button towards the ceiling. Tuck your chin into your chest, really press into your hands, lift yourself away from that floor. Inhale, lengthen, drop your belly, send those hips high. Exhale, round, chin to chest. Inhale. Exhale. We'll do three more just like that, connecting to your breath. Paying attention to what's going on in your body. And last one. Great job. Come right back into our neutral tabletop position. We're going to start to do some spinal circles here. So as we inhale, we'll drop our belly like we just did. Then send our entire torso towards that left wall. Inhale, lifting it to the sky. Exhale, sending it to the right side, dropping it down, bending your arms as needed. And just starting to create this fluid motion through your spine. You can get your head involved here. Trying to keep your wrists under your shoulders, knees under your hips. We'll do one more circle in this direction. And then when you get to the top, we'll go the opposite direction. Really becoming fluid within this movement. Allowing your body to move freely without feeling stuck. We'll do one more all the way around. And when you get to that top, go ahead and curl your toes under. Just take a moment, take a breath in and out. Great, go ahead and curl your toes under if you haven't already. Take a big inhale. And then as you exhale, send your hips all the way up to the sky. It's okay if you have a bend in your knees right now until we start to warm up our legs. Turn your biceps towards the wall in front of you and feel yourself pressing into all 10 fingers here. Inhale, really bend those knees, look forward. Exhale, begin to walk yourself towards your hands. Nice little baby steps here. And then release your upper body over your lower body, coming into our forward fold. Hanging out here. Take opposite hand, opposite elbow. And just begin to find a sway, left and right. Just feeling it out, keeping a nice generous bend in your knees, tucking your chin right into your chest. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release your hands down. Inhale, glide your hands all the way up to your thighs, straighten through your legs, straighten through that upper body. Send your gaze out past your nose. Take a breath in. And as we exhale, bend those knees. Drape your upper body over your lower body. Forward fold. Inhale, glide yourself back up. Halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, slow and control. We're going to roll all the way up to standing in three, two, and one. Lengthening through the neck, through the top of your head, 
looping those shoulders back and down your spine. Open your fingers wide at your hips here. Take a big breath in and out. Really relax your shoulders down and around your spine here. One more breath in and out. Great, bend your knees, release your hands down. We're gonna draw a big circle, standing all the way up, slight back bend at the top. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your palms down onto the mat. Step one foot back and then the other, shifting your body into plank, aligning your shoulders over your wrists here. Take a breath in, out. You can always drop down onto your knees if you would like. Inhale, and as we exhale, keep your elbows into your side. Begin to lower all the way down. Releasing your belly to the mat, uncurling your toes. Inhale, press in your hands, lift your body away from the floor here. Loop those shoulder blades back and down your spine, holding it here. Take a breath in and out. Feel the front side of your body lengthening. Inhale, we're gonna look over that left shoulder. Part your lips just slightly, feeling that stretch through your neck here. Inhale, send your gaze forward, and exhale, look over the right shoulder this time. Really feeling your hands pressing into the floor, feeling the tops of your feet pressing into the floor. And as we exhale, go ahead and open your knees as wide as your mat, and come back into our child's pose, releasing your hips to your heels, and then your forehead all the way down to the floor. Close your eyes and just take a breath here. Inhale, exhale, in and out. We come back to this position to just slow ourselves down, lower our heart rate, catch our breath when the flow becomes a little quicker or anytime you just need a break. Come all the way down to child's pose. Inhaling in. Out. And just feel yourself getting a little heavier into the floor. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. that next inhale, find your flow all the way up to our downward facing dog, coming in through our tabletop, curling your toes under, sending your hips up to the sky, pressing into all ten fingers, turning your biceps towards that front wall, and feeling an extra lengthening through the backs of your legs as you glide your heels closer to the floor. Inhale, exhale, Bend your knees, look forward, take two steps all the way up. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle, all the way up to standing, arms overhead. And exhale, bring your palms together, release into your heart, take a breath in. And out. One more breath here, in and out. Inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up. 
And this time, as we exhale, we're going to bend right from our hips, send our hips to the wall behind us, sink down into your legs as we come into our chair pose. You can keep your feet hip distance apart, or you can walk them in closer, bringing big toe to big toe, heel to heel. Inhale, lift your chest, sink your hips. Holding it here, you can always bring your hands down onto your hips if you need to, or right here in front. Find the modification with your arms that feels comfortable. Inhale, exhale, keep that chest lifted here, hips low. Two more breaths, in, out, one more, let's do it, in, and as we exhale, send your hips high, hands go to the floor, forward fold, inhale, lengthen, half my lift, exhale, fold, inhale, big circle, exhale, chair. Again, seeing if you can get your hips a little lower, chest a little higher here, lengthening through the back of your neck. Take a big breath in, out, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Plant those palms, step it back, move through your vinyasa. Inhaling into our up dog, pressing into our hands, and exhale, send it back, child's pose, knees as wide as your mat. You can always take this time to take a quick drink if you would like. Releasing that forehead all the way down. Close your eyes and just focus on bringing that breath back to a nice normal rhythm. So take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. In. Out. One more big breath in. And out. Great job. Just focus on that breath, having a nice normal rhythm. Inhale, we're going to come all the way up into our tabletop position, bringing your knees right underneath of your hips, curling your toes under. Inhale, we're going to press up into a plank, holding it here. Inhale, exhale, feel your biceps spiraling towards the wall in front of you. One more big breath in and out. With that next inhale, we're going to lower that left leg outside of that foot down onto the floor. Lift through that right hand, coming into our side plank. Really press into that left hand. Feel it in. Lift through your hips here. And exhale, release that right hand down. Spiral our feet to the opposite side, opening up that left arm here. Focus on your breath. Big inhale. Exhale. Feel your ribs going a little higher. And exhale, release that left hand down, send it up, downward facing dog, you earned it. Bend those knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Hang out here just for a moment. Take opposite hand to opposite elbow again. Find a slight sway. Really bend in those knees. And come back to center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up. Exhale, palms together right at your heart. Take a breath in. And out. Great job. We're going to step to the center of our mat, opening your feet nice and wide here. Make sure your toes are pointing forward. 
hips are rolling under. So again, think we have our booty pop, and then we have that little like ugly butt where we're really tucking our tailbone underneath the bust, really engaging through that pelvic floor here. Inhale, lift those arms up. And exhale, float them down, tuck your chin into your chest. You bring your hands onto your hips, pull your elbows towards the wall behind you, lift through that chest. Focus on your breath here. Inhale, exhale. See if you can get even wider through your chest. Exhale, one more breath here. In, and as we exhale, we're gonna look towards the right foot, point it towards the front wall, lift onto the heel, to the ball of that back foot. Then through that front knee, keeping it aligned with your ankle. Inhale, lift your arms up. Focus on your breath. Inhaling in. Exhale, spiral that back heel down to the floor. Open your arms as wide as your mat, coming into our warrior two. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here, pulling those pinkies back towards the wall behind you. And with that next breath, straighten through that front leg, bump your hips to the wall behind you, lower down through that front arm, catching wherever it's comfortable. Maybe it's right at your thigh, your knee, maybe down by your shin, lifting that back arm all the way to the sky, feeling the weight in that back foot on the outer edge, not in the arch. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. In. And as we exhale, we're going to spiral through our chest, release our hands all the way down, plant those palms, step your foot back, and move through our vinyasa. And send it back into your child's pose. Forehead all the way down. Close your eyes. And just focus on your breath here. Inhale. And exhale. And bring a big smile on your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. With your next inhale, find your flow all the way up to our plank position. Focusing on that breath, feeling all ten fingers press into the floor, spiraling your inner thighs towards the ceiling. Take a big inhale. Exhale. In. Out. With that next breath, we're just gonna dip our hips towards the left. Inhale, send them up. Exhale, send them to the right. Inhale up. Exhale left. In, out. One more, each side, you can do it. Last one. Great, come back to center, come all the way back into our downward facing dog. Focusing on your breath here. Inhale, and exhale. Bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front. Come into our forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle, all the way up. Exhale, sink back, chair pose. Focusing on that breath, lifting through your chest, sinking even lower in your hips here. And then forward fold. Just 
holding it here. See if you can lengthen through your legs a little bit more. And I want you to heel toe your clothes in nice, your toes nice and close together here. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, inhale, big circle, all the way up. Exhale, sink it back into chair, bring your palms together right in front of your heart this time. Chest lifted, hips low. Inhale. And with our exhale, we're going to twist our upper body to the left. Connect that right elbow onto your knee here. Keep that chest lifted. If you notice, if you lift it through your hips, sink them back low. Chest goes high, hips go low. Press hand into hand, elbow into knee. Feel your feet really grounding into the ground here. Inhale. Exhale. You can do it in. Out. One more in. And with that exhale, release forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up. Palms together. Come back into our chair pose. Elbows go wide. Hips high. I mean, hips low. Chest high. And when you're ready, we're going to twist to the right this time. Connect that left elbow to the outside edge of your right knee. Feel that twist through your spine. Chest lifting. Hips go low. Inhale. Exhale. Feel the burn through your legs, you guys. One more breath here. In. And exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Lengthen. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant those palms firmly under the mat. Pop all the way back if you can. And then move through your vinyasa. Inhaling into your up dog. And exhale. Send it back into your child's pose. Or take a moment to fix your clothes and get a drink. That's what I'm going to do. Release your forehead all the way down to the floor. Go ahead and close through your eyes. And just focus on that breath. Big inhale. And exhale. In. And out. One more breath here. With that next inhale, glide your hands back towards your shoulder. Press away from the floor. Pull your knees right into the center. Come back into our kneeling position. Hands just dropped on by your side. Inhale, lift your shoulders towards your ears. And exhale, loop them back and down your spine. Inhale, lifting. And exhale, lower. In. And out. Inhale, send that right arm forward. Exhale, send it across your chest. Catch that arm with the left hand. Just glide that left arm across your right arm. You can repeat that a couple times here. Feeling that nice stretch through your shoulder. And then we'll switch sides. Left arm goes forward. Catch it with your right. Draw it across your chest here. Glide that right arm across your left arm here. Inhaling in and out. And again, just using this time to make yourself the priority. Taking a little time for that self care, that internal reflection. And just making sure that you are in a good spot. So when you go out into this world, you can be extra helpful for those who need it. And go ahead and release those arms down. Inhale, lift through your shoulders. And exhale, loop them back and down your spine. And send our body weight forward. Curl your toes under. Slow and controlled. Release your hips towards your heels again. Feeling that pressure building in your feet. If it's too much, lift up and out of your hips. And just again, sitting up nice and tall. 
focusing on that breath in and out. One more in and out. Great job. Send your weight forward, legs go to one side or the other, release your bottom all the way down to the floor. Extend those legs out in front of you. You can move the flesh of your buttocks out from one side to the other, really coming onto our sit bones. Bring your palms together onto the floor right at your hips. Inhale, lengthen through your upper body here. Feel as though you are having the straightest spine you have ever felt. And if you have to have a slight bend in your knees, that's okay. In time, you'll be able to gain that length through the hamstrings. Curl your toes in towards your nose and roll your big toes towards one another. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. See if you can lift your chest a little higher. Pull that chin back in space. Exhale. One more. In. And out. Inhale. Sweep those arms up and overhead. And as we exhale, fold over your legs, bending through the hips, not through that low back. And just catch wherever it's comfortable. Maybe it's your shins here. Maybe it's your ankles. Maybe you can reach the bottoms of your feet. No straining here. And when you're ready, just tuck your chin into your chest, continuing to feel that length through your spine, bending through our hips. With each exhale, feel yourself sinking a little deeper into the pose. No straining at all as we move into our pull down phase. Inhale, lengthen, roll all the way back up. And exhale, let it go. Shake through your legs, shake through your arms. Give me a little shimmy shake all over. Great job. I want you to take that left leg, set it outside of your right knee here. Left hand comes back behind, fingers planted onto the floor, palm planted onto the floor. Inhale, lengthen, lift through that right arm. Exhale, we're gonna twist, connect, elbow to knee. Look over your left shoulder and flex through your front toes. Feeling your chest lift, shoulder, that left shoulder is wrapping around your spine here. Inhaling in. And out, sinking a little deeper into the twist. One more breath here, in. And as we exhale, we're gonna to twist to the opposite side, bringing both hands to the floor for a counter twist. Inhale, leg can come back to center, extend the left leg out, and we'll bring that right leg across. Right hand goes back behind you. Inhale, lift your left hand all the way up. Exhale, twist and connect. Look over your right shoulder here. Flex through your left toes. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. One more breath here. Take a big inhale. And exhale, we'll twist to the opposite side. Counter twist. Inhale, length and come forward. Release that leg. We're going to actually bring the bottoms of our feet down onto the floor. Inhale, lift through your arms. Open your palms towards the ceiling. Get nice and tall through your spine, coming a little closer to your thighs as needed. Pull your knees in towards one another. And as we exhale, send your body weight back, feeling your abs engaged. Focus on that breath. Inhale. Exhale. Great. Bring your palms together right in the center of you. And as we exhale, we're gonna to twist to the left. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, twist to the right. Keep that going. Just using your body weight, pulling your belly button into your spine. Or maybe you wanna grab your water, add a little extra weight as we spin through. Or any prop that you might have. You can have a yoga block. You can have a yoga wheel. Spinning from one side to the other, keeping your core engaged, connecting to your breath. Inhale back to center, and exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, 
Inhale, back to center, hold it there. Release your prop if you have it. And really just wrap your arms around your shins. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. And exhale, tuck your chin into your chest. Leave your little cocoon here. And just focus on that breath. In and out. One more, in and out. Inhale, we're gonna roll all the way back up, extend those arms out again. And this time, take a big inhale. And as we exhale, we're gonna slow and controlled, sink ourselves all the way back, rolling through your spine, one vertebrae at a time. Releasing your arms overhead, lengthening through your legs. Big stretch. And as we exhale, bring your hands back to your hips, pull your knees into your chest. Give them a little hug. Lifting your tailbone away from the floor. And then finding your stillness here, just holding on to your knees. Inhale. And exhale. And go ahead and take your hands right to your heart here. We're going to send our hands through our knees. Catch the outside edges of our feet. Inhale. And exhale. Send the bottoms of your feet up to the sky. Happy baby pose. You can stay right here, just letting gravity pull your arms and your legs towards the ground. Or you can find a slight rock side to side. Just kind of play around. Feel what your body can do in the movement. Notice where you still might be holding in that tension. Notice even what emotions you might be feeling or what your physical and mental demeanor are at this stage in our practice. Maybe you're a little more calm, a little less stressed. Maybe your mind's a little more focused. Your body is a little more at ease. And then just come back into stillness. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. Release them down to the center of your mat. Bring your hands right at your hip creases. Take a big inhale. And as we exhale, press your palms firmly into your thighs. Feel that opening in your low back. Inhale, release. And exhale, press. Inhale, release. Exhale, press. And do one more in. And out. Great job. Just allow your hands to fall down to the floor. Extend one leg and then the other. Let your feet fall open as wide as your mat. And just get yourself nice and comfortable. We move into our final pose, so you, you made it into our savasana. This is our time to just be still, to be present, and to focus on our breath. So take a big inhale in through the nose and out. I want you to bring another smile onto your face, and as we move into the stillness, think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today. With that next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes and your fingers. Bat your eyelashes open and closed. And when you're ready, bring your palms.
palms together all the way up to your forehead. Take a big inhale and exhale. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhale and exhale. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Inhale and exhale. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. And with that, you guys, take one more big inhale. Exhale. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me here tonight. You can slowly roll onto your side and then come up into a seat. I hope you guys are staying happy and healthy and uh, hydrated because you know it's so good for us. And I will see you guys very, very soon. So again, bye.